You're welcome to the audio library of Engadrin and Youth Foundation. Here you'll be communicated with principles that will make you a principality. Tighten your seatbelts as you take a flight to great heights from the life of this message. Remain Being blessed. blessed. Good evening everybody please let me just have your attention for a few minutes um, just a few instructions number one will not be here for too long just help those under the anointing um, and then number two please I will want to encourage you do not miss tomorrow's session for anything late uh, it's a long story but I'm glad we're here it may just be 10 minutes or so and then we're done tonight. Praise the Lord. I know that God has come to visit your city and it's an honor to be used by God to visit your city. Hallelujah. Bishop, God bless you, sir. We appreciate the fathers of the land. I appreciate everyone. Let's hold hands together and pray. Just a few minutes. Please lift your voice and pray in the spirit. Cry to God for a few minutes. something I just saw in the spirit um, I saw lights right now as I'm standing listen falling on hold on hold on hold on hold on those people will start running out by themselves please make sure they don't injure themselves this is a ministry of the spirit by the hand of the Lord will come on people and literally they will start running out by the spirit 
Don't stop them, just guide them. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. Ah. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Let me explain to you what is happening to them so you do not think anything superstitious. We we'll have time to minister tomorrow, but you see, sometimes he says, I have spoken to you in similitudes. And so sometimes God can empower men and they begin to act out happening in the realm of the spirit. If it is liberty, if it is freedom, that's why sometimes you find people laugh because the shouts of joy and victory will not depart from the tent of the righteous. So I believe that one of the graces that God is bringing through illumination is bringing acceleration to people. And, and that's why you see that grace coming. And I'm saying it now because the power of God, I'm going to be teaching, just bring them out. They will start running out by the Spirit. Please help them. This is a strange ministry of the Spirit. I reveal this before it happens so that when it begins to happen you will understand it is to shift people to dimensions this is why you came help this man look at an elderly man like this look at a man like this this is not a child and the people say holy, holy, holy. and the people say holy, chapter 43 you may stand we are not taking our time I don't know who this man is sir this one holding your hands I don't know you but your life is about to change I've never seen you but I'm seeing the angel of the Lord pour oil on your head I stretch my hands now let that power from heaven rest upon you shift you to another dimension in the spirit you will never be the same there is a lady up the balcony the hand of the lord is coming on her i'm seeing the spirit of revelation resting upon that lady please do not miss tomorrow we have to round up isaiah chapter 48 please and verse 14 Isaiah chapter 48 43 I meant to say Isaiah 43 and verse 18 Remember ye not the former things 
neither consider the things of old behold I will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert please look up let me five minutes of your ears will continue the building tomorrow the Bible says remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old that means there is a relationship between your memory and your failure listen carefully that when a man is admitted in life part of the arsenals that are used by darkness is your mind and the memory of the things that are there that there are informations that are stored in your mind that can be tools for the devil to use to sabotage the purposes of God in your life so the Bible says in order to do something new in your life we have to begin by addressing something that is old and he says remember ye not that means it is within your power when Satan wants to keep men from moving forward he uses your mind to take you backwards and creates imagery of something that is associated to your yesterday and with your yesterday please listen carefully that you want to move forward and become apostle Paul and Satan uses your mind to remind you you were once Saul and that you persecuted the church and that the awareness of that memory can do something to your destiny so the Bible says part of the systems of God to move men to new dimensions is to do something to their memory remember so he's talking about memory here remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old why because I am about to do a new thing but he that told your mind has had all kinds of things taught there I want to shift you as a man of God but in your mind is the memory of a failed ministration in your mind is a memory of a past in, a, in your mind is a memory of a lifestyle that was not consistent with God and so when the grace and the anointing of your destiny is searching for you Satan uses the voice of yesterday remember ye not that the Lord wants to shift you to a new dimension in ministry but you remember the failure you remember the weakness yesterday has the power to kill tomorrow listen very carefully yesterday has the power to kill tomorrow many people today are not just in the trap of demons they are not just in the trap of witches and wizards they are in the trap of the prison of yesterday let's talk about yesterday yesterday represents your failure yesterday represents your mistakes yesterday represents your inaccuracies yesterday represents your limitation god gives us the gift of tomorrow to correct the mistake of yesterday tomorrow is a gift it's not just another 24 hours this is the day that the lord has made as an act of his mercy to remedy for what yesterday could not do therefore rejoice not over me my enemy your story is in my yesterday while you talk about Jesus who died don't forget that in his tomorrow there is resurrection so one of the things that God is going to be doing in this city and in your life is to fold yesterday like a curtain and lift it up before Satan and say everything that is yesterday 
let it be gone and gone forever because I am the God of the new it is true that Saul persecuted the church but that was yesterday's truth the truth now is that Saul is an apostle it is true that in her yesterday Rahab was a prostitute but the truth now it says I will not be negligent to put you in these things although ye already know them and are established in this present truth this present truth there is a past truth but there is this present truth it is true that yesterday you prayed for the sick and nobody was healed but it is also true that in your tomorrow there is a heavy anointing waiting for you it is true that in your yesterday the ministry could not grow but we are talking of this present truth so it is not enough to tell truth which one truth also has timing there is the past there is the present there is the future it is true that once upon a time the son of the living god hung upon the cross at golgotha it is true that once upon a time the keys of dominion were in the hands of satan but it is now true today that he is seated at the right hand of the father far above principalities so don't just tell me you are telling the truth which one are you telling that adam fell is not a lie but that is a truth that has no power again that you were born from a poor family is not a lie but that is a truth that tomorrow was sent to correct Oh, your help has come. Oh, your help has come. Oh, I'm speaking to you prophetically. Welcome to tomorrow. The cure for yesterday. Welcome to tomorrow. The remedy for yesterday's failure. The remedy for yesterday's weakness. The disciples tried to cast out a demon out of an epileptic patient and they tried and tried and tried and tried and they were so embarrassed when Jesus came down from the Mount of Transfiguration they met him and they said why couldn't we cast this but a time came when the shadow of the same disciples you would be telling someone Peter's story of three and a half years ago whereas what is happening right now is that his shadow is moving people let me tell you something prophesy to yourself say yesterday be silent one more time say yesterday be silent God is doing something in my life today say it again yesterday be silent yesterday's failure be silent yesterday's weakness be silent lift your voice and turn it into a prayer i speak to my yesterday be silent the accuser be silent the limitation be silent the infirmity be silent are there people that pray in asaba few minutes and we're done 
Mantesco Barata. Yesterday's level of ministry, be silent. Yesterday's level of business, be silent. Be silent. I cost the voice of yesterday. Parusalika Parusaleketa. Embreketoske Barata. Be silent. My political career of yesterday, be silent. My academic failure of yesterday, be silent. My ministerial disappointment of yesterday, be silent. My child's drinking and smoking of yesterday, my daughter's prostitution of yesterday, be silent. Remember not, remember not the former things. Remember not the former things. Remember not the former failures. Remember not the former limitations. Nor consider the things of old. For behold, I do a new thing. Hallelujah. Listen, hear me. When Joshua came to Jericho, he was given an instruction to kill everybody and kill everything in Jericho except one woman called Rahab. For many years, I wondered why God would be so cruel. To ask a man to kill even children and women. Most times they would fight the men. Then they would leave the women and children. But he said kill everything. Later on I would find out why. Because there was a woman's destiny. Called Rahab. Everybody in Jericho knew her as a prostitute. Whose, whose house was attached to the wall. God wanted to annihilate her yesterday. Anybody who had any memory of her yesterday was gone. So that from that time, you will know her as Rahab, one who was in the genealogy of Jesus, not the prostitute. Hear me? There are times when God wants to move you forward. He will remove yesterday's relationships. He will remove yesterday's geography. He can relocate you from one region to another so that nobody is there who knew your pain and failure of yesterday because sometimes when God wants to anoint you they will say this man God wants to anoint you I knew when he was a drunkard we were in JS1 together so for God to correct that he will take Moses out of Egypt so that nobody will be able to corrupt what God was doing with Moses Moses was a murderer Moses was an angry man and God said Moses I cannot anoint you in Egypt you will come back to Egypt but you must meet me in a place where no man knows hear me there are many of you the journey to accessing the anointing and the grace of God is strange it is not always demonic when you find out you are alone God is closing history to open your future so sometimes you will find out that you may need to leave your family members for a long time God will take you deliberately because all of them know your failures so when God says you are the one they will use they will tell God I know this one use someone else he said can anything good come out of Nazareth hallelujah there's a story I'm rounding up of a man who was trying to climb a very tall tower and while the man was trying to climb that tower people were talking him under and saying stop you will not get there they tried and tried to stop him but he kept climbing they were begging him they said you can fall down and the man got up there when he got up there and everybody was clapping for him that was when they discovered that he arrived here because he was deaf the man could not hear 
so while they were clapping he thought they were cheering him there was nothing to be deposited in his memory he kept climbing while they were stopping him he thought they were saying continue it is dangerous to have an ear because you have a responsibility to protect what enters that gate Are we together? It was because of your ears that you had that you would never become anything. If you were deaf, you would have been a champion by now. But something someone told you, he said, Adam, where art thou? He said, I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. Next question, who told you? You use your ears to hear an information. When God wants to shift you to the new, the assignment will be the courage to face yesterday. Yesterday has the power to come back to life. Resurrection does not only happen to bodies. Resurrection also happens to time and events. There is something, that's why you can remember something that happened and start crying physically. The past can live again if you give it life. My assignment tonight is to select everything in your yesterday that is not God and kill it this night. This night. The voice of yesterday. Can you become that great person? Can you become that politician? Can you become that great personality? Yesterday has a magnetic pool. It draws you from tomorrow back into yesterday. But someone tonight has to get angry. There are people here who would have entered mighty levels of the anointing. But your failure of yesterday, your prayerlessness of yesterday, just when you want to pray, the devil comes and says, has God lacked men that he will use you? You that used to tell lies in the name of word of knowledge. That was yesterday. Can we pray for two minutes tonight? Shout it from everywhere you can hear me in this auditorium. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. By the blood of the eternal covenant I confront yesterday everything in my yesterday that is negative that wants to enter my tomorrow or destroy my tomorrow I destroy it tonight lift your voice priests of God and pray with fire Salakata Parados Stratez Kamanda Selassia Pratela Salabala Katosia My background of yesterday wanting to enter my destiny My background, my limitations. Hallelujah. Let me give us one last prayer point. Watch this. Look at me, please. Hallelujah. Now, please look at me, everyone. Come, my friend. Watch this, turn. The Bible says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. It says, let us lay aside every weight. There are some things that are not sins, but they are weights. One of it is the memory of yesterday. Now, try to move my friend. Watch this. This is yesterday holding you. You failed. That's your destiny. You are a failure. Are you seeing that now? 
the Bible says if it means removing this coat like Joseph to say yesterday you can take my coat home but my destiny you cannot touch if this is what you want go I lay aside every weight every weight every weight you are going to declare thank you by the spirit of God that everything holding me memories whatever it is I, I free myself now lift your voice and pray I was raped when I was two years be free from it now my father was irresponsible be free from it now I wrote jam ten times be free from it now reject anything reject everything that is not of God hallelujah praise the Lord can you spare me one more minute last scripture For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination. Every imagination comes from the word imagery. Imagination. Bringing every thought the obedience of Christ finally brethren Philippians 4 and verse 8 whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are honest if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on this thing The Bible says to let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. You must win from the realm of your mind to win in your life. You are not the only one who has an excuse to fail. We all do. Champions are those who defy excuses and make up their minds that in the name of Jesus yesterday can go I am not so loyal to yesterday that I lose tomorrow listen I love memories but you will never see any old picture in my house you will never see any picture of me when I was small in my house there's nothing wrong with that but it's how much I have been determined to change my life. Anything that does not represent life, hope, power cannot be within my environment. I don't tolerate death whatsoever. Because as he thinketh in his heart. In my mind there is nothing that is impossible. My time is spent with the Holy Spirit. That's why there is nothing I don't believe. I'm not saying social media is wrong, but you have, I'm not even there. You bring some of those apps, I don't know what they look like. The story of the deaf man inspired me. Sometimes you have to become deaf intentionally. The awareness of too many things will distract you. You were enjoying your marriage till you read an article of people cheating around and that information it was supposed to motivate but it planted a seed of distrust that is destroying your marriage today. You were a man of God serving God sincerely until you read an article that they can collect power somewhere and you became impatient and the grace to pray. You were doing the right thing until an information corrupted you. Guard your heart. 
guard your heart guard your heart guard your heart with all diligence do not open yourself to nonsense listen listen you will shred your destiny to pieces let's wrap up tonight go back home listen to me write a list of everything in your yesterday that refuses to let you rise are we, are we together now by the grace of God we are going to have two sets of prayer requests here tomorrow number one is everything in your yesterday that must go for good there are Egyptians you saw yesterday that still want to enter your tomorrow but the rule is that the Egyptians you see you should not see them again forever so what are they still doing in your tomorrow watch this so you will write everything the failure the disappointment the family background and bring it here the fire of God will rest upon it and prophetically you will be separated forever number two you will come with another request that represents what you want to see God do now please listen instructions are powerful it says my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from thy heart keep them in the midst of thy heart they are life to those who find them so two requests one to deal with yesterday and the other to prophesy into tomorrow let hope let it rise darkness trembles in your holy light that's what is happening to you as about rejoice let hope let it rise Darkness trembles in your Tomorrow, by the grace of God, in the morning, I will be with our dear Bishop, Bishop Jude. The church. Pastor of life. So tomorrow morning, I will be in Pastor of Life. As many of you who can join me there, it's going to be an awesome time with the Spirit. And then tonight, please invite Asaba and tell them Jesus has come to take away burdens. I will be praying for the sick who are going to be ministering to people. It doesn't matter whether it's your politicians, your business people. Please come with your heart angry. You are a man of God here. Come empty. What did I say? Come empty. If you are full, you can stay at home and follow online. But I'm trusting God for people who will come empty to receive something that will shift your ministry to another dimension. Listen, the kinds of mantles and graces that will fall here tomorrow, there are people who must carry these cloaks bodily. We are going to activate graces for businesses graces nothing just works and nothing just happens they are activated from the realm of the spirit so come with your heart open you are up to date down tomorrow spiritually you are welcome come so that god will place something on you that causes you to move forward ever and backward never you are in ministry you have your fellowship your prayer group don't let anybody despise you come and receive fire real fire from heaven you are trusting God for ministry and you are in ministry without evidence without results today's world is not the kind of world that you tell stories you will need the reality of the life the grace the power the wisdom of God let me speak over your life in the name of Jesus over this city and over this place tonight we release encounters in the name of Jesus many of you will have strange prophetic dreams tonight God by those dreams will be revealing to you the blueprint of destiny in the name of Jesus Christ
many of you will return back home and you will receive calls from people who have not called you years and they will begin to announce glad tidings to you in the name of Jesus many of you will go back home and you begin to see anointings that were once in your life that you don't know where they went to let it be stirred up again in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you and thank you for your patience tonight okay tomorrow's service I'm told is 8 a.m. on the dot at Pastor of Life please do well to be there and the evening service four o'clock I'm told by God's grace come again okay okay someone describe it for them Bishop sir thank you pastor of life is just by Abuta Lane this by Sterling Bank that road by Sterling Bank just drive down that's pasture of life Go. opposite slot opposite slot here not far from here thank you thank you you will see many people you can't miss it where you see people gather tomorrow morning then you will know that's the place yes it's a grace where you see people gathered that is a venue Praise the Lord. Please do not miss the evening. Come with your heart open. Remember your prayer request. Please hold hands together, everybody. We're rounding up. Hold hands with your neighbor. Declare and say, Father, start the walk of transformation in my mind. Lift up your voice and pray, everyone. Please pray passionately. hope you were blessed by this message. For more information on how to contact the man of God, call the following number. 08037109981 or 08068590761. Can you visit and like our Facebook page? www.facebook.com.